The heart's really just like a house divided into different compartments. And each of those compartments can have a problem. Electrical system, the plumbing, the valves or the doors of the heart, the walls of the heart can have problems. As the body ages, as the heart ages, mechanically it will continue to squeeze. Electrically it will continue to conduct. There are other things that can happen to the heart just like your car. It can break down over time. When we get into our 80s and 90s, the electrical system, the blood flow or the, the plumbing or piping, the valves themselves can break down. But there, we, we can set expectations, and even in, in clinic today when I see patients that are in their 90s, they're excited to make it to 100, and there's no reason why they can't. The heart muscle itself won't break down. If we think about patients and their propensity to develop cardiovascular disease in the United States right now, if we define cardiovascular disease as anyone with high blood pressure, heart failure, previous heart disease or heart attack, patients with atrial fibrillation, once you get over the age of 80, 85% of patients are going to have something in the realm of cardiovascular disease. If you have a nice gene pool that you start with and you don't put major insults onto the heart with secondary insults of smoking and high blood pressure and high cholesterol or treat those things that you can very aggressively, there is no end that we think to the extent of how long you can live or how many heartbeats you have. So it's inevitable you'll run into a cardiologist or your family uh, physician at some point to treat heart disease. But there is no upper limit to how long you can live, and there is no expectation we set as to when valves, the electrical system, or plumbing will break down in particular patients if they take care of themselves.